Hello, welcome to The Manor. My name is Jamal. Please come in and have a seat. Today we'll be talking about Miss Love Notes and her community post. Please allow me one moment. All right. She says, three weeks without my son. Everyone involved with removing him is going to be punished justly. You don't steal from a woman that's already been traumatized and abused more than necessary throughout her entire life. Uh, I will be counter suing and fi finally filing the charges I needed to file in order to send my artist to prison once and for all. I called to try to ask what was happening with the filings towards my artist, and the detective lied and stated that they found me guilty. I'm most certainly not guilty. You stole, and you stole my son because you wanted to play sick, sick games with our lives. It was against my rights as an art victim that they refused to file the report, and because I refused to play along with their sick lies. Punish me? No. I'll be doing everything possible to hire lawyers in order to sue the state of Arkansas for all for misfiling all proceedings with which I've been involved. So it looks like here that she is very upset about losing her son and she's going to do everything in her power legally to get justice for her and get her son back. That's what this part reads. I'm going to go on to part two. Removing my child from my breast was a terrible decision on your behalf. You only removed him in order to persuade everyone that was incapable of tending to his every need, blatant lies. I am and always will be a wonderful mother and deserving of my children. Twisting someone's words will get your own tongue tied and faced with the reality of your indiscretion. As far as I know, she has an ex-husband um, with whom she has a daughter, and I believe the ex-husband has custody. And she's upset about that because she's wondering why he has custody and she doesn't. But I also saw in a video where apparently that there was something that she was going to um, do harm to the child. And then she lit the crib on fire and people were outraged. And she said she didn't see the big deal because it's not like the child was in the in the um, crib that she only lit the crib on fire. I was like, OK, I mean, ma'am, that is a red flag in my opinion. The fact that I've been owed pain and suffering for the essays is the only reason I wasn't able to afford a home for the baby. So I'm guessing what she's saying, because she didn't get restitution for her own pain and suffering for the essays, um, that's why she couldn't afford a home. The father will go to prison as soon as I've clarified the facts about the R that took place. I did hear something in some other videos about, like, there is some contention that um, some people are saying, like, you know, this didn't happen. I believe the the guy involved said, this doesn't happen. This is not what happened at all. So there's a lot of back and forth and a lot of conflicting, um, you know, theories out there. What do you want to call them? So at this point, I'm going to say they're allegations at this point because I don't think she's filed charges yet. All right. She, she goes on to say, I will also be placing proper reports against the police officer and orderlies. I have presumed they did that when I tried to file in the hospital years ago but they refuse to file another violation that will be looked into properly. Now, if someone can tell me, is she is she talking about different cases, different guys, or just all um, revolving around the most recent event? Any help would be greatly appreciated. I am extremely disappointed in the legal system of this country. Um, a lot of people are, to be completely honest. They lie about ours because they want to hide their secrets by protecting all men that violate women within their authoritative positions and used to get away with it. I'm not doing this anymore. I'll be placing proper reports now that I'll be retaining an attorney. And this is part three. Violating a disabled citizen for this long is going to cause huge problems for you all. The fact that you removed my son over lies is going to haunt you and you will all be punished. Prison for RS and that's all they should receive. They will be looking into my allegations once I place efforts into suing the systems and federal government for allowing all the cruel and unusual punishment that I've had to live through while my artists walk freely to R and SA others. I guess I needed to actually file, but when I did, they abused me. This is a huge lawsuit that we all know has been leading to this because Arkansas refused to file the assault justly. I need my son back now. You're all going to pay for removing him from my side. Now, for me, the community post is talking about several different things. So the first thing that's talking about is like she wants her son back. I'm like, okay, I, I'm confused about that based on some a comment I saw on her community post. Uh, give me one moment. Let me pull that up for you.
All right, it says, you send your rights away to that child. They took him away, but you said you weren't going to do what you needed to do to get him back. You then signed your rights away, so you made the choice not to see him until he's 21. You did that, not anyone else. Be mad at yourself. You should have fought for your child. Why do you keep talking about give him back? You made sure that couldn't happen. So if she signed her rights away, I mean, I'm not sure there's much more that she can do. And I recall one of her videos that I saw when um, I first started watching some of her videos is that she said she didn't even get to sign the birth certificate. So I'm not sure how that plays into it as well. I mean, if you signed your rights away, I mean, you signed your rights away. And I believe in order to get your child, like you would have to sue for custody or sue for rights through the court system. So is she going to sue um, the legal system for her the mishandling of her alleged essays, or is she um, going to sue for custody of her the rights for her child, or is she going to do both at the same time? I'm extremely curious about this, you know, because it's like she has a lot going on. This community post really kind of just struck me because it's very all over the place. It's uh, in some cases contradictory, and this is. This was my first impression, and the pattern is still going. So I'd love to know from everyone, you know, is she planning on going, doing the child thing first, doing the um, swing of Arkansas first, or is she going to try to do both at the same time? You know, what are your thoughts on, you know, how she's going about this? And are you seeing what I am seeing? Is she being contradictory, or um, is this just, a part of you know her mental health i look forward to hearing what everyone has to say and all the you know history that you guys can give me i will be going back to old videos just to get more of you know more knowledge about her so that being said i hope everyone has a wonderful day magician out